Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Thank y'all for subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting, all the things y'all do to help us grow. Thank you for that. Today, we're going to do a vein review. So what I have are four different veins made from three of the most popular vein manufacturers. Uh, they're all in a 2.75 or 3 inch vein. They're all going to be in a 3 fletch with uh, a little bit of right helical fletch to them. Okay, so they're all fletched the same way, uh, fletched according to manufacturer's suggestions. Uh, you know, so we got the AAE Max Hybrid or Max Stealth, Max Stealth, the TAC Driver 2.75, the Fusion, it's a Q, Q2. I believe a uh, three inch shield cut and we got a boning parabolic three inch bronco vein this vein is real similar to an x vein in the parabolic cut as well so if you do are familiar with that vein it's very very similar to that okay so what we're going to do is we're going to want to test how these veins perform in all aspects how easy do they fletch how consistent are they how well do they fly so accuracy noise and then durability and if you don't care if you don't fletch your own arrows or anything like that and you don't care to know if they're consistent or if they're easy to fletch I will post it right now where you can go ahead and skip to to skip some of the stuff you may not be interested in all right first up is going to be the AAE max stealth we're going to weigh them to make sure they all weigh the same and they're consistent there and then we're going to measure the length of them to see if we're getting some any inconsistencies there. But three max stealth veins weigh 24 grains. Looking at eight grains on that one. Eight grains. Eight grains. Eight grains. Eight grains. Eight grains. Got six grains. We're going to do one. Tear it. Zero it out. Eight grains. So that's going to get uh, two thirteen sixteenths of an inch. Same thing. Same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. So next up, tack driver vein, 2.75, 16 grains, 6 grains, 4. I'm going to just kick that one out and we're going to weigh the rest of them and then we'll redo that one. 6 grains, 6, so we got 4 again, tear it. four grains we got six six grains again okay I'm gonna double check them we're getting four six Let's check it one more time four so these two are teetering between four and six so it's gonna be the same as the AAEs, 2 and 13 sixteenths of an inch. Same length, same length, same length, a little bit short. Same length. The Fusion 3 inch shield cut. So again, we'll weigh three of them. 30, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And ten. So three and an eight. I'm sorry. That's three and a sixteenth. My bad. Same. 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 So the last vein we're gonna test is the boning bronco. Twenty-eight. Eight. 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 Three and a sixteenth. Three and a sixteenth. Same, 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 and same. Those veins were pretty consistent. Tack throwing the only abnormal weight out there. Those veins are so light, it could be the fact the scale is literally not sensitive enough to read how light those veins are. Those were the lightest vein. This would be unbiased. I'm not going to throw any biasness towards these veins. Uh, I have been using the fusions for for the past year and I've used the boning X vein prior to that uh, but I, there, I found there's another vein that I like and I can't wait to see how it performs against this because I think it's going to do very well uh, but we're going to talk about the ease of fletch okay and the way we're going to score this vein battle is the vein that does the best will receive four points 
the vein that does the worst will only receive one point in the little category that it's being compared in. Uh, the consistency is not so much. That's just for you gear nuts that want to really be specific on how they build arrows. Okay, that's the only reason I did that. Ease of fletch. In my opinion, the easiest vein to fletch out of these is going to be the fusion. Okay, why is the fusion the easiest? It's what I call a lick and stick vein. So you don't have to have any prep. You don't have to put a welding pin. All you got to do is clean the arrow with denatured alcohol or a little bit of acetone. And I use this uh, Gorilla Glue. It's a super glue brush and nozzle glue. And it works awesome. Okay. Now, with that being said, the AAEs and the tacks, they're not at any disadvantage because if you follow the instructions, you wipe it down with the wipe, you put the welding, the weld pin, I believe what they call it, on the vein. You let those dry and you use the recommended glue, the AAE Max Bond, and then the TAC has their own TAC glue. The veins hold up very, very well. The AAE is the second easiest vein to flesh, in my opinion. If you do those things right and you have a little bit of patience. Now, why is the AAE easier to flesh than the TAC? Okay, and it all has to do with the, the little glue channel that they put on these veins okay so if you look at them the AAE is super wide it, put, it has a very wide footprint to the shaft okay which allows a lot of adhesion the fusion have the same wide footprint you can really get it to stick very very well to that okay now with that being said the tack has the smallest foot if there's one thing I could change in a tack vein it would definitely be that little footing or glue channel, like whatever you want to call it. It is so small, it is such a pain in the butt to get to stick. I mean, there's very little glue, but that, that vein, I think the whole idea behind it is supposed to be light, it's supposed to make your arrow faster, all that other stuff. So boning will be the, the third easiest vein to fletch because it's got a medium channel for glue, it adheres good and it sticks good. Again, it's a lick and stick vein. So that's my order of easiest to fletch to the biggest, uh, tedious, I guess you call it, because it's not that it won't stick or anything like that, it's just a little bit more tedious. Alright, so now the fun part. We get to test accuracy on these. What we're going to do is we're going to shoot these arrows, we got groups of three, we're going to shoot them three times to get an average group size. Okay, so we'll shoot a group, I'm going to run down there and measure it, shoot a group, measure it, shoot a group, measure it, switch arrows, same thing, it's just going to go from AAE, tack, Fusion, boning, we're gonna go in that order. We're gonna be at 40 yards. We have us a USA archery target out there. It's what they shoot in FIDA and everything else at 50 meters. But we're gonna to go to 40 because I feel that's the bow hunter's happy medium. I think everybody is happy at 40 yards. Most people that watch this channel are probably bow hunters. Uh, so that's where we're gonna to go to 40 yards. So we're gonna to get to the fun part right now. All right, our first vein, AAE. inch group. that first shot so I just shot for the arrow six inch group
supposed to call that one tight. How about that? Two and a half inch groove right here. X, X, X. Five and a half. Group. All right, that big camera needs a little bit of a break. It's overheating. Super hot out here right now, probably close to 90 degrees. But the boning vein is up. Seven and three quarters. All right, so through two categories, ease of fletch and accuracy, right down below on the bottom, I'm gonna put just a little tick uh, tracker so we can keep score with what vein is ahead right now. So on that last one for accuracy, TAC and the AAE both come in at like almost a solid five inches. The, a, the fusion was just a little bit higher, and then the boning, well, it opened up to about eight inches, and I don't feel I was shooting any different. Um, it's just where the arrows were falling. So now we gotta figure out how loud these veins are. Right, so down there at 40 yards, I have a box with a microphone in it, and I'm gonna shoot all my arrows over it. Try to shoot them right over the middle, just like you want to, try to get as, as consistent as possible. But I wanna do this before the durability. All three arrows from each group, one time and then we'll go inside and we'll see exactly how loud it was on the screen okay we'll be able to see a peak in the in the in the spike in volume to see which vein was the loudest and that's the only way I know how to test it because it's hard to do it just by earshot because I'm not a decimal reader but hopefully the the peak in volume over the microphone will let us know which vein was the loudest Alright, so what we have here is the actual sound of the veins going over the microphone. We're going to play it a little bit, two or three times, so you can kind of maybe hear it, which you'll hear it in the video as well. Alright, so what we have, we have the AAE. Tack, Fusion, and Boeing. So they're all three shots that were just done right after one after another. Same wind conditions. You can see this the the baseline wind noise is about the same all the way across. So nothing had any advantage for sound cover over the other. But what we can see and what's neat about this is yes, they all may sound the same, but the noise frequencies are telling us something completely different. So let's start right here with this fusion, okay? Because I think it's pretty neat that it had almost like the sharpest sound out of the bunch, which also made it the loudest. But it was it was the quickest as far as the noise was concerned. 
Now over here on the Boeing, it actually hit the lowest decibel. It looks like it hit the lowest on the thing, which would make it the quietest. And then we come right here on the tack, which it peaked pretty fast in comparison and was still relatively low. And then the AAE was kind of in the middle of the, the whole spectrum, right? So the way that I'm gonna do this is we're gonna go just based off of noise levels. So it looks like boning is actually gonna be the quietest, okay? It was one of the lower profiled veins in the deal as well, which is gonna aid in its uh, noise output, okay? So it's a little lower profile. It's not catching as much wind. This one is definitely gonna be the loudest because it peaks out the highest, but it's weird because it's also the quickest noise out of the whole bunch. So it, is that quiet or not? I don't know, but the way that we're doing this is how high these volumes peaked right in here. That one peaked the highest, so it's going to be the loudest. Now the tack, I'm gonna give that one number two. I think you almost have to because not only was it the peak levels extremely low, it peaked up and back down extremely fast. So I, I feel like that has to be something. I do feel that the boning is a little bit lower on the levels. I wish I had like a laser line or something I could shoot across my screen to check it. But I'm going to give the tack second place. So it's going to actually be awarded three points. And then the AAE will be awarded two points. I think it's the second loudest of the bunch. Um, it peaked pretty high and lasted a long time. I know they say max stealth, but like I said, this right here is showing us and telling us something completely different than what our ears may hear. Kind of neat, ain't it? Just to see how loud something actually is and how long it lasts, okay? That just lets you know that these veins do make noise. The deer are reacting to it, okay? They're reacting to that noise. And it's not necessarily always a bow noise because, man, any modern day compound is extremely quiet and I really think they're reacting to that whiz. But, scoreboard's updated. So now it's on to the last thing and that's gonna be durability. It's got to shoot through three layers of carpet. I will shoot these until these veins are no longer shootable. If I get to a point where none of them are tearing up, they will all be awarded four points. So, or whichever few veins are lasted, because I can't sit out here all day just shooting until the veins are no longer good or what I would consider shootable. There is no holes in this carpet. I'm gonna show you that carpet and then we're gonna get started. We're just gonna shoot the order we have then. AAE, TAC, Fusion Boning. Check that out. All of them got a little bit of discoloration, but no, no vein. Uh, the Fusion has a little bit of wavy vein. But no veins have been lifted, so they're all still shootable. Round two. And then there were three. The boning Bronco is out. It lost two veins. starting to lift on the front so I don't figure it can last too many more shots. The fusion super wavy but the, the everything's still attached to the arrow. The tack is still in super good shape. Everything's the same. Fusion super wavy, the tack's in good shape and the AE is just barely lifted on the front. Time to quit shooting. I think that was round number six. The AAE, where is that? It's lifted up right there, a good half of an inch probably. It's not shootable no more. I'm sure we could, but it's just gonna peel off the next shot. Fusion, 
same thing good full inch of tear right there peeling up the veins round number six that's a tie the tack let's talk about it oh hi ah, the tack's done too so those three all tore up in the same exact round they are all going to get four points and the boning is going to get three didn't notice that whenever i pulled it out so all of these three a tack fusion will get four points the boning is going to get three we'll tally them up figure out who the winner is according to the scoreboard aa is a winner they win this little vein competition and this is just a, a vein review in general but aae outperformed everything in my opinion I didn't feel like I shot anything any better, any different. Uh, they were all glued to the manufacturer's specifications, and they were all shot over the microphone the same exact way. So I hope y'all like this video. If you want to see something done just a little bit different, drop it down in the comments below. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button. We got a lot more stuff coming. Hit the thumbs up. And until we talk next time, just remember, it's a good day for a good day.